Hi everybody, Colin Singer here. I wanted to share with you today the great developments that we reported last month regarding Canada's upcoming plans to begin express entry immigration from July onwards of this year. Uh, previously for the past uh, quite some time during COVID, there has not been an overseas all program draw under the express entry system. Canada was able to reach its latest numbers of admissions to Canada, largely on provincial nomination program, invitations, Canadian experience class, and some new streams that were introduced in April of 2021. This year, the government has plans to bring in 412,000 immigrants, and that by all accounts might even be surpassed because of the large inventories that are in play. Uh, the government put a pause on the express entry system and uh, for, for, for draws under uh, the skilled worker side of things. And now the plans are to relaunch express entry immigration, in particular, the all program draw. What's very interesting is recent amendments uh, have been tabled uh, to the immigration rules that will allow the immigration minister to issue invitations on an occupation basis. Previously, they were all program, all candidates within the express entry system, whether they were skilled workers or trades, uh, this was fully covered under previous draws that went on prior to COVID. Uh, but coming forward later this year, uh, amendments will take hold that will allow the minister to actually issue invitations on an occupation basis. This means that it's quite possible that the CRS scores that will be uh, determining the invitations that will be issued, very possible that those scores will be much lower than previous draws and the scores that we commonly saw. Uh, this means if, for example, you're an IT professional, uh, very likely that the government of Canada is going to want to issue uh, draws and invitations in draws, uh, issue invitations particularly directed at software developers. We know for a fact this is an area where Canada has a huge shortage. Uh, if you're in the financial services industry, we're quite confident the government will look to issuing invitations to certain occupation uh, candidates uh, in the financial services sector. If you're in healthcare, for example, if you're an RN, if you're a registered practical nurse, if you're an OT occupational therapist, uh, physicians, family physicians, uh, we currently represent family physicians coming to Canada under temporary work visa applications. We represent clinics across Canada who bring in physicians. Well, these particular candidates, physicians from overseas, uh, will be likely targeted. We can foresee possibly that occupation being targeted in an, uh, in a, an express entry draw coming out later on this year. Um, if you're a skilled tradesperson, you would have been finding it quite difficult to come to Canada with an invitation uh, because you wouldn't have had the right scores to get and receive an invitation. With the new rules that have just been tabled and we expect them to come into force later this year, candidates across a wide range of skilled trades uh, might be in a position to receive an invitation. The message here really is, uh, if you are a serious candidate to Canada uh, and you're in a, uh, any of these sub-occupations, which are quite important uh, from the Canadian labor market perspective, there are a whole new host of occupations that express entry will favor. For example, uh, dental assistants, uh, pharmaceutical, pharmacy technical assistants. Um, there are heavy equipment operators. We've seen that occupation as possibly qualifying under the new, uh, under the new, uh, well, the, the going forward under express entry. The reasons for this is because 
certain occupations have been reclassified under express entry. It's about 16 occupations that have been reclassified in terms of their coding. And the way the express entry system works, as you may already know, it's based on the national it's based on the National Occupation Classification System, and that is a codification of all the different occupations that fall into the Express Entry System. Currently, there is well over 200,000 applicants in the Express Entry Pool, and if you have, a, if you are one of candidates with these occupations that I just discussed, uh, it would be worth your while to lodge your application into the express entry system because it's quite possible you might be targeted by the latest policies that will come into force later this year. All that is to say, contact us if you're interested in coming to Canada under the express entry system, which is the most popular way for an economic uh, immigrant coming to Canada. Uh, we'll assess your qualifications and surely we would be able to help you both with our current programs that actually help you find employment under our EECP program, which is basically an employment enhancement coaching package. All our clients will receive very valuable services on how to navigate the employment and labor market in Canada. Fill out our form, give us a call, contact us by email, and certainly like this content that you're watching today. Look forward to seeing you soon.